breaking, cops just made sick fine moments after Senator Rand Paul viciously attacked at his own home. It is being reported that Kentucky Republican Senator Rand Paul suffered minor injuries Friday afternoon when he was assaulted at his Kentucky home. A spokesperson for Paul says he was blindsided by an attacker just before 3.30 p.m. at his Kentucky home. Although the nature of Paula's injury was unclear the spokesperson said he was fine. Local police have arrested 59-year-old Renee Boucher in connection with the attack and he was charged with fourth-degree assault, a misdemeanor punishable by up to a year in jail although reports say further charges are possible in this case. Boucher was taken to Warren County Detention Center and his bond is listed at $5,000, while a court date has not been set yet. Boucher is a Bowling Green anesthesiologist and pain specialist who lives close to the Senator's residence. He is a registered Democrat and is a self-professed never-Trumper. His Facebook page interestingly enough seems to be filled with anti-Trump rhetoric. What on God's green earth was this guy smoking? Did he actually think he could go to a United States Senator's house, assault him, and get away with it? Is the left really this damn clueless? I guess at this point we should be grateful he wasn't he armed like the Bernie Boo who tried to kill our congressman while they practiced for the annual bipartisan baseball game for charity this past June. Antifa Apocalypse Anarchist group has planned to overthrow Trump regime starts Saturday. Will the so-called Antifa Apocalypse come with a bang or a whimper? A series of anti-government Leftist rallies set to descend on major cities nationwide Saturday is drawing the attention of local officials, who, like the organizers themselves, fear the events could be hijacked by violent masked anarchists. The left-wing refuse fascism group is using November 4 as its kickoff for demonstrations in nearly two dozen U.S. cities, protests it says will continue day after day and night after night? Not stopping? Until our demand is met. Dot. The demand is the removal of President Trump and Vice President Pence. The gatherings are being described as a kind of antifa apocalypse on right-wing media, according to the Washington Post. Several sites are expressing particular alarm about the loosely defined left-leaning group, which preaches a version of ferocious anti-government chaos that often uses domestic terrorist violence, comma, according to a recent FBI report. Among the 20 cities where rallies are set to occur are Atlanta, Austin, Boston, Chicago, Cincinnati, Cleveland, Honolulu, Los Angeles, Minneapolis, New York City, Philadelphia, San Francisco, and Seattle. The anarchist group, whose name comes from term anti-fascist comma made news earlier this week for allegedly harassing a female reporter at Columbia University and for seven arrests at California State University, Fullerton, amid reports of head punching and pepper spraying. You cannot try to wait things out, comma, a refused fascism call to action reads. Those who lived through Nazi Germany and sat on the sidelines, looking on as Hitler demonized, criminalized, and eventually rounded up one group after another, became shameful collaborators with monstrous crimes. Tapping into movements like Occupy Wall Street and the Women's March, refuse fascism said it hopes to protest nonstop. 24-7 until this regime is driven from power. The organization is engaged with a broad coalition of groups, including the Revolutionary Communist Party but says they are committed to a non-violent stance. Z told the Washington Post his organization does uphold the legal right to self-defense, comma, but that they don't initiate violence and they oppose violence. Previous instances of Antifa violence have, however, been justified as self-defense. Fascism cannot be defeated by speech, comma, Dartmouth professor Mark Bray said in August. Refused fascism at Les Poster asks Atlanta demonstrators to bring pots and pens with an image of a pole poked through Trump's severed head, drawn as a pig ass with flies buzzing around it. Chicago's invite includes an image of a rope pulling down a Trump statue, which is already cut in half. Show this damn Trump and Pence regime that they do not rule over us, comma, one organizer said in a video posted on Facebook. Let us stand together, come together, and fight this regime on November 4. This nightmare must end captures how millions of people feel right now where you may face persecution or even death, comma, said Andy Z, 
a member of the advisory board of Refuse Fascism, according to the Revolutionary Communist website. Z called for a ferocious struggle because normal forms of petition, like protest as usual, do not apply with Trump. Recently, several members shut down a Los Angeles highway with NAV. For it begins signs in a show of nonviolent civil disobedience. Z cites the pamphlet The Coming Civil War, by Bob Avakian, the chairman of the Revolutionary Communist Party and architect of the new synthesis of communism, to point out why the group demands the whole regime must go. Avakian brand spins the political leader of Christian fascism, fascism wrapped in the Bible taken literally and the American flag, saturated with racism misogyny, and xenophobia, comma, which he compares to the kind of Islamic fundamentalism that is tearing up the Mideast. Z also says news organizations such as CNN, MSNBC, The New York Times, and The Washington Post must go all out to hound the enemy, the regime, Congress, administrators from agencies such as ICE, the Border Patrol, and more. Z said the group has the necessary people? And anger? to remove the cruel and brutal future of the Trump administration on November 4. Very interesting that this happened on the eve of the so-called uprising of Antifa's protest which never panned out. Probably because to start a revolution you would need to get up earlier than at noon. Let us hope the left stops with the rhetoric if not sooner or later our side will in fact react. And when you piss off American patriots enough, it tends to not end well for the opposing team. Don't you believe me? Asked the British, the British.